Okay. I'm going to tell you the tale of the lions. But first of all, I'm just going to uh, acknowledge Deborah M. Lawson, or Debbie, good friend, was of Shipley, is now of Gibraltar. You'll find her on, find her on Facebook. Uh, and she illustrated this book for me. Um, she's a specialist watercolorist of some talent, but particularly specialised in flowers and scenery and buildings, and uh, found animals which uh, feature in this book at various stages um, a challenge. And in particular, there are four lions who symbolise Saltaire. They are uh, four big stone lions sculpted by Thomas Milnes in London. Though he came from Yorkshire, he came from Tickhill and made his living as a sculptor. Uh, in London, he did the four saltaire lions, and Debbie uh, tried various angles on these lions, uh, and was never utterly happy until she. Oh, I'll show you what she did. But this this was a reject. Yeah, um, she she rejected this. This is one of the single lions. This is a central lion in that picture of the four lions, which are reputed on hot nights. There are occasional hot nights in saltaire. Uh, to get thirsty, to get off their pedal pedestals and wander down to the river for a drink. Well, <clears throat> I can tell you straight away, no, no self-respecting mammal would ever go near the river air for a drink in the 19th century. But anyway, uh, Debbie's solution was this, which is quite different and quite stunning. Um, a much more, I would say, stylized uh, version of the four lions having a drink. You can see, if you know Saltaire, there's the boathouse in the background in on a moonlit night and those are pretty fierce and pretty thirsty lions so well done Debbie I think that's fantastic I'll tell you the tale now it's the tale of the lions <clears throat> three tales can be identified three legends taught about the pride of lions who command Victoria Square vigilance determination peace and war. One says that of a summer's night they make up for the daytime heat by padding on down to the river air for a bevy there. We have not witnessed this display despite the fact that we ourselves may well be seen on warmer nights trotting on down to the boathouse for a bevy there. The second legend states that when the wind blows from the east, i.e. the non-prevailing side, the pride can hear the carillon of Bradford City Hall, which peals a tune at ten, at two, at six. This tale once had some truth in it, but no longer does apply, and we'll tell you why. Our lions have an ear for music, came from London. Land of oranges, lemons, bow bells, Big Ben. And they loved the peal of bells from Salt's Church Tower, which, whoa, were melted for the sake of war, along with railings and two cannons from the park that once travelled to Trafalgar and back. Which links us to the third related story that our four lions were intended for Trafalgar Square. Well, is the truth. Four lion models Thomas Milnes produced, miniatures, which weren't exactly welcome as companions for one-eyed Nelson, but Titus spotted them, commissioned the full-blown version to watch over his dominion. The pride will happily confirm all myths, especially those without an ounce of truth, because they act as most effective camouflage for one big crime they carried out, a sabotage. Which constitutes our fourth and final story pertaining to our four intrepid roarers, and one in fact they'll strenuously, strenuously deny. What me, officer? You let them cry. Outrageous, never saw it, I'm innocent. Oh, I never left my pedestal one instant. They're talking about the iron road bridge which fell through age, rust, rot. Officially, 
Truth was, however, our four friends took action. They could see the end of old Saltaire when 60s folk bought cars. They went to work as secret saboteurs. They could see Victoria Road as major route for drivers from Bailden seeking a shortcut. And then there'd be lorries and they'd all be at it, reducing lions to supervising traffic. So they descended to the river of an evening, not to drink the water. Get my meaning? They gave those old bridge pillars an inspection, shook them up a little, only testing. So now you know, though nothing can be proved in law, this for Saltire's lions was a bridge that went too far. See you soon.